What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Metal Death Fest coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my favorite place for today's five game main slate. Today is the 7th of March. Hope everybody's having an amazing weekend. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe if you're new. Also, press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's jump right into it, y'all. Going with our point guard slot. Want to give you some savings here. I want to go down to Jake Milton. Once again, a great spot on FanDuel at 5,900. He is 63 on DraftKings. This is a great spot in general for him. He's came out that slump on the 26 fans point game and came out with a 33 fans point and you already know without Simmons while I'm beat he still got great upside here he has been on the on a great tear recently in the last five games now going against Golden State without no Curry now it should be a, a better matchup for him all right so it's a good spot for him and also a good pace as I didn't Phillies 98.8 to Golden State's 100.6 so I like this play for Shea Milton to, to still be on a roll for today all right, let's look into our next spot. Going to our shooting guards. I want to keep going with the value spots for today. Now, I've got to look into the status with Trey Young because Kevin Hurd is once again a great play against Memphis. 233 and Pi total for today and also is a good pace in overall 103.5 to memphis 102.3 even though it's a negative pace for atl it's still a fast paced game regardless because how of that you know just the numbers of that pace so he's 5300 was still too cheap knowing the upside what he can give all right he has great history against them 35.5 in the last two games against Memphis, and he's been on a roll in the last three games, 37, 34, 47 in the last three. Another great matchup for them, but also a great usage if Trey is out, so we got to look into the news of that. Also, Alec Burks in a great spot, you know, getting out of his slump. He's, he had 27 uh, fans points last game. Another great matchup against Golden State at 27 against opposing uh, shooting guards. Alec Burks, once again, a good spot. Also gets a bump in usage with him. Uh, without Simmons and Wild Embiid, so definitely, and also without uh, 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 Josh Richardson, so good spot for Alec Burks here, and I like Gary Harris, you know, he's finally getting back in his groove, you know, he averaging 31 fans points in the last two games, and another great play for him for today, 4,500 on Fandle, but he's 43 on DraftKings, and he's been giving you upside, y'all, so great spot, and also a great floor play in his previous history against Cleveland, 25, 9, 30, 29, 43, and also they're 28th against opposing sh shooting guards. So hopefully keep this roll going here in the last two. Hopefully keep it rolling today. All right, so a good spot for him. Let's go to our small forwards. All right, going small forwards, Tobias Harris, definitely a lock play for me. 7,300 special on drag, uh, FanDuel. Great spot knowing the upside for him. Came off that 50 fans point game last game, and you already know he could give you the easy 35 plus in, in his floor so he has great floor history against Golden State you know so a good spot for him to definitely dominate the 24th first against opposing shooting uh, small forwards great play for Tobias Harris to dominate once again another guy you can look into for some savings is Will Barton 5100 on FanDuel 53 on DraftKings too easy great spot for him to dominate here as they're 28th against opposing small forwards and he came off that 41 fans point game against Cleveland before so it's great ceiling play for him hopefully he could dominate once again in this matchup against Cleveland all right so good spot for him he's looking for some other savings if anything uh let's go to our next spot all right let's go to our power forwards all right we gotta check the status uh, with Drummond and Tristan on Cleveland because they are questionable but if they are out Kevin Love in another great matchup 49 38 46 in the last three games you know and he has a bump in uses without them on the court he had 39 fans point last game against Denver and plus he's playing at home so great spot I don't see no issues um, since they're not playing at Denver so great spot for Kevin Love to get some upside if we get some news from Cleveland uh, in that matchup another guy you can look into is Naman Ja uh, Belicia. Now, he'll be a great play if uh, Richard Holmes is out. Right now, he is questionable, but he is out. He's in a smash and play against Portland as he dominated them twice, you know, so far. You know, averaging 38 fans points the last two games this season. So, good spot for him if we get some news from Richard Holmes if he's not going to play today. Of course, you got Christian Wood. I mean, he's expensive, 7,900, but still, he's. He's one of those guys without nobody else on the court. He's been dominating, you know, 41, 37, 48, 36, 44 in the last three games. So, we're going to go with someone like him. He could give you a 35-plus here. And he's only, what, 82 on DraftKings. But still, he's be a low-owned guy. 
Um, but I definitely like this play for him for today. But we got to keep in mind with Richard, um, Rashawn Holmes because he right now is questionable. If he's out, I like Belicia here at a nice saving spot at 4,800. Of course, you got Al Horford in the mix. Now, he probably go without Draymond. I mean, he might gotta go against Chris, but still a great spot for Al Horford here, 6,500 on FanDuel, 66 on DraftKings with a 31.6 projection play. Just a great spot overall. 38 last game, 19, 46, 41 in the last four. Great game for him to give you some upside. He's finally out of the slump, and he's giving you at least 35 phase points in the last five games. So, good spot for him. We're going to target Philly here. Let's go to our last play at center. We got Nikola Jokic here against Cleveland, 97 on Fandle. It's still a great play here. Now he's too cheap, 94 on DraftKings. Good spot for him for today, 40-52. 20, 56, 30. So something you want to consider here. You might, you might have issues of him if he gets you less than value, but that's the reason why I think with the with the price tag is because of the previous history. But shoot, if he can give you 45 plus here, if Cleveland, um, if Drummond's playing, then you know this definitely could be competitive. So it's a good game to definitely target. We get some more news with Cleveland side of their front court, but right now Lucas is still a great play for me. Uh, Jonas Valachunas is in a great play, 7,100, going to get ATL. Even though he's on the back-to-back, -back, hopefully he can still get some upside here. He did have a 27 face point game last game in 28 minutes. Hopefully he gets some, hopefully he just gets some upside here. You know, going against a better matchup with Collins, and also 7,300 on DraftKings is 233 implied total, so he should be able to dominate in this play. You know, he has 35 last game against ATL. So, sometimes somebody want to consider, of course, he might be low owned because of the back to back narrative. Uh, so, he could give you a dud here, but we got to look into that. But still, great matchup. They're last in defense and also 28th against opposing center. So, and a smash and play to hopefully pay up that price tag. Uh, let's look for some more savings here. I don't really see much. Um, I mean, you got Alex Lynn, but eh. Maybe on DraftKings at four at 3900 Somebody you can consider here. So on DraftKings, something you might want to consider here for some savings. Um, but not on FanDuel, in my opinion. Uh, so that's something I'm looking at so far for today. If you like the plays, definitely give a thumbs up. If you want access to my player pool, click the link in the description for Draft Dashboard Tools. Once you click on the link and sign up, you get access to the NBA cheat sheet. We'll give you the best plays of the slate without doing research. Your sleepers and your studs. Click on the watch players. You get access to your player pool, and you'll see watch Mel's DFS picks button up top for either DraftKings or FanDuel, y'all. So I love y'all. Y'all have an amazing weekend. It's Mel DFS, and y'all stay blessed. I'll see y'all in the next video.